Hello everyone and welcome back to Queer Cyclists. Before we jump into today's video, I want to say a huge thank you to you guys for watching and subscribing to my channel. Last week I hit a thousand subscribers and honestly, <laughs> I didn't think I was going to make it this far. At this point, I am at over 1100 subscribers, which is incredible. So if you want to keep this weird ball rolling, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Here we are in the holiday season and I don't know about you, but I am a last minute gift giver and gift buyer. So I thought this video might be useful for those of you who also procrastinate until the last minute to do things. Everything that I mentioned in this video today is first and foremost under $50 and second linked in the description below if you want to check it out. The first thing on my list is the spotty men's cycling jersey. I have a video about cycling jerseys that I made a few months ago, but I tend to wear men's cycling jerseys because they are cut more comfortably than jerseys made for people assigned female at birth. This is a jersey that I wore the entirety of the Florida Huracan trip that I did with my friend Allegra earlier in the year, and I found it to be really, really comfortable. It's super lightweight, it's very breathable, and it fits a ton of snacks in the jersey pockets in the back. The fit of the jersey also works whether or not you were assigned male or female at birth. It's a straight cut, but it also has a little bit of wiggle room for your hips if you do have wider hips. Even though it is technically a men's jersey, it will work regardless of your gender identity. It comes in at 16 bucks and you can find it on Amazon. The next thing on my list is the Topo Designs accessories bag, size small. This is a bag that I keep all of my toiletries in when I am either traveling for bike packing or traveling in general for shorter trips. And I find that it fits all of my toiletries really, really, really snugly and nicely. In fact, I like this bag so much, I bought another one recently. Topo offers the accessory bags in two different styles. One is made out of recycled material, the other is made out of canvas, and both come in at about $17. I also have the micro bags that I keep in my accessories bags, which fits like little odds and ends like medicine capsules or perfume. It's super high quality and I use it all the time. I also put it through hell and there is no signs of wear and tear on any of these products that I've used. So I'd highly recommend the Topo Designs accessories bag. The next thing on my list that I wanna show you guys is the model water bottle. What's really cool about it is that it has two sides and it comes with a bunch of different mods so that you can use it for different reasons. Model sent me this water bottle with the flow mod, which comes with a hose, so you can use it kind of like a camelback. So this water bottle is kind of like a cross between a Nalgene bottle and a camelback. I found that it had some problems with leaking when I actually strapped it onto my bike. And so I've been using it instead as kind of a regular water bottle. It holds more than an actual Nalgene bottle. This one holds 36 six ounces and Nalgene holds 32 ounces. This also weighs about twice as much as a Nalgene bottle. This comes in at 13.2 ounces or 375 grams. Your standard 32 ounce wide mouth Nalgene bottle is about half of that weight. So if you were looking for ultralight bike packing gear, this might not be the piece of gear for you. However, if you're looking for a really nice looking water bottle that photographs really well and does its job as a water bottle, this might be the thing for you. The water bottle starts at $25 and then you can kind of build up from there and build out whatever mod that works for your style of drinking water. <laughs> and if you're interested in this water bottle, Model sent me a discount code, which I will put right here and in the description if you want to check it out for 20% off. The next gift item on my list, particularly for bike packers, is the Deuce number two trowel. Sometimes you just have to dig a hole in the woods and this makes it a whole hell of a lot easier. This is a super lightweight piece of gear that you can just throw in any old bag. It doesn't take up 
hardly any room at all. It weighs less than an ounce or 16.7 grams. I know that different hikers and bike packers and backpackers have varying opinion on trowels. I think that this is a super important piece of gear, especially when it comes to adhering to leave no trace principles. This costs about 20 to 30 dollars there are three different sizes you can get one that's a slightly smaller than this and slightly bigger they all weigh next to nothing and i think that they are absolutely invaluable especially if you like bike packing or even backpacking trips into the backcountry the next gift item coming in at 31 dollars is the AeroPress Mini. This is a delightful little device that makes a pretty good cup of coffee. You can strap it to an anything cage, you can throw it into a saddlebag or a handlebar bag. I typically just bring this, which is just the actual AeroPress, and then I just like press it onto my coffee mug. The rest of the kit just tends to weigh a little bit more. And so I try to be as light as possible when I'm bike packing and I don't actually need these other accessories. So I just bring kind of the meat of the kit, which is this. However, for traveling, which I also bring this when I am traveling for a weekend or any kind of car camping trip or any kind of trip where I'm like, oh, I like I might like want to make myself a decent cup of coffee. I'll bring the entire kit with me. So this little AeroPress, it's great and makes for a great gift. The next thing on my gift list is the Topo fuel tank in a size large. While this is not my favorite bikepacking bag, I think that it does an excellent job at what it's supposed to do. It comes in at about $38. I would recommend getting it in a size large because it's enough to fit a bunch of snacks for a day ride or your phone, plus some snacks or keys or something like that, whatever it is that you bring on your rides. It's like right there, right in front of you on the top tube. So you can open it for easy access whenever you're on a ride. I will say that if you have long legs and a short top tube, you might find that it hits your knees a little bit sometimes. This is fine for short rides, but for really long endurance rides, it might start like driving you mad. For gift purposes, I think this is a great little bikepacking gift. The second to last thing on my gifts list are Crocs. Fight me, but I think that Crocs are the best camping shoe. Feel kind of weird coming out as a Crocs evangelist. I think Crocs are great for bikepacking trips. You can wear them as a slip-on like this, or you can bring them into four wheel drive like that and they'll stay on your feet if you're walking in water or like doing something that's like gonna make your feet really slippery. You can let me know in the comments below if you think there's a better camping shoe out there, but I think that Crocs just work so well for what they're supposed to do. And they're also really, really light. They weigh next to nothing. While I have never tried cycling in Crocs, I don't think that I want to go that far, but I think that they are a great accessory for bikepacking trips. If you are on a long trip and want to kick back and not wear your cycling shoes anymore, they these let your feet breathe, they're really light, they're really comfortable, and they make a great gift. The last gift on my list is the 18 inch auto lock. This is less a lock and more a deterrent. I would not recommend using this as your main lock, but this thing is super light. I usually just wrap it around my saddle and my tool roll. For grocery store runs, if you're at the coffee shop, if your bike is nearby and you don't wanna bring your U-lock or your heavy, whatever heavy duty lock you might use, this is a great thing to just strap it to a fence or a signpost. You can just leave your bike there and no one's just gonna like snatch it away really, really quickly quickly. This is about $50. There is a longer one and more expensive one. I find that this works fine for me. I use this for quick grocery store runs and coffee shop runs when I know that I'm going to be nearby and I just don't want to lean my bike up against a wall. So for 50 bucks, I think this is worth it for a little bit of peace of mind. If you're doing casual rides around the city, just hanging out at coffee shops or quick grocery store runs. And that is it for this video, you guys. Happy holidays. If you like this content and wanna see more, 
please hit that subscribe button. Help me get to 10,000 followers. That's the next goal, which I think might be attainable, which is really exciting. So hit that subscribe button and give this video a like for me, and I will see you guys next week.